Hey there, crazy kids. I'm the good old gamer. More Minecraft. Grooving with Minecraft. Beta 1.6.4. Hooray. Single player. New world. Gogs. Testing grounds. Gogs. Testing grounds. That's the seed and the name of the world, in case you're wondering. Alright. So what we're going to do in this video, this Groovin' with Minecraft video, is I'm going to show you a few cool, somewhat unique and original, hopefully, ideas on how you can survive a night in Minecraft without building a shelter. Um... Now, let's see if I can f figure out... Okay. Good. Alright, so, as you'll see here, we'll also uh, take a look at some of the new features of 1.6.4. Um, I can't show you everything because I don't have everything to show you with, but uh, you'll see that this grass here, this isn't a mod, this is new, tall grass. Um... This is how you get seeds. You punch the grass, and sometimes it'll give you seeds, sometimes it won't. But this is how you get seeds for wheat now, is through the tall grass. You can't uh, use a hoe on the ground and randomly get seeds. Uh, you still need a hoe to uh, till up the ground to plant the seeds, but the only way to get seeds now is through the tall grass here. Um, so that's one of the new features of 1.6 but uh, anyways what I was saying that I'm gonna show you guys kind of a cool way to uh, survive the night here in uh, Minecraft without having to build a shelter and you only need 10 uh, wood planks we're gonna end up a little more because I like to uh, take down a whole tree. I don't like to leave floating trees, so we're going to end up with a few more than that. But you only need ten wood planks, believe it or not, in order to survive a night in Minecraft. And I'm going to show you how in just a minute. We're going, Like I said, we're going to end up with slightly more, but I hate floating trees, so I had to get the whole trunk out. Anyways, um, this is what we're going to have to do. Take your logs, turn them into planks. Make yourself a workbench. That'll be four logs. One, two, three, and four. And once you get your workbench, set it down on the ground. Make yourself a door using the other six wood planks. That's ten wood planks all together. And this is all you need to survive a night in Minecraft, believe it or not. I don't know how many of you know this, but I'm going to show you. You take your door, you go to a deep part of water, whether it's a lake or a big ocean -y area. As long as it's four or five blocks deep. And uh, plop your door down anywhere you want, really. And BAM! You can now survive the night in Minecraft. You'll notice that behind this door here, I'm in an air bubble. So I'm not drowning anymore. I can stay in this spot all night long. And be perfectly safe. Because first of all, mobs don't spawn in water areas. So they're not going to spawn in this area anywhere. And, if they spawn on land and try and come after you, they float on the surface of the water. So as long as you're a few blocks down deep into the water, they're not going to reach you anyway. They might be sitting right up top there, but they're not going to be able to come down here and reach you. Uh, the only real threat at this point would be skeletons shooting at you. But uh, depending on how far out in the water you are, you should be perfectly fine, perfectly safe. Uh, I normally... Uh, when actually using this, I wouldn't uh, put it right here by the shore. I'd 
go out a ways into the water, and wow, I need to turn the music down. Um, or completely off. Well, that's weird. Okay, whatever. So anyways, I wouldn't turn the... Uh, or I wouldn't uh, be right here by the shore. I'd go a few more blocks that way, but this is just demonstration purposes. So anyway, you can spend the entire night right here perfectly safe and sound, um, either for your first night or uh, if you happen to be out exploring, you know, uh, maybe you come up out of a cave and it's turning night real quick and maybe you feel you don't have time or you don't want to build a shelter for whatever reason, just make yourself a door, hop into the water, in a deep uh, part of the water, uh, put the door down, and just stay here in the... Uh, in the little air bubble that the door provides and you're perfectly safe for the evening. So that's one way to keep yourself safe and sound for a Minecraft night. Didn't know it was that easy, did you? Yeah. Okay, so might as well show you guys another way. Thanks to 1.6 we have trap doors which are basically sideways doors in crafting. Just do this six across this way gives you two trap doors they are single blocks wide and uh, the normal way of using a trap door is kinda like this um, trap doors sit down on blocks kinda like half blocks do or stone slabs or whatever you want to call them they sit down on the bottom of blocks you need you need a block that they can sit, uh, that they can connect to, like that, and then they open like this. And then, you know, you could have a tunnel going down there or whatever with a ladder or whatever you wanted to do. Um, so that's a trap door right there. And because it's a door and it acts similar to the other doors, the regular doors, you can also use this to your advantage for the same purpose as a regular door to keep yourself safe during the night. Just uh, hop down here and let's dig out a piece of dirt. Let's get up, get some air. Ooh. You want to be a little bit more prepared than I am, obviously. Um, basically put down some dirt, put down your trap door at eye level to your character like this. If it'll let you, and it makes that air bubble, open the door up, and uh, hop in. And you're perfectly safe in this one block air bubble. As long as it's eye level with your character, you uh, will be fine. You won't have to uh, worry about taking any damage. You're, w once again, you're uh, safe this air bubble in the water. So that's another way to do it. But you'll have to have a block to uh, put the door on. So you might want to have a couple dirt blocks with you some to uh, set this little pillar up. But uh, that's another way to survive a night in Minecraft. Yay! And it's all thanks to the trap doors that came out in this latest update, 1.6. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys a couple of different ways to survive there. Uh, I've had that in mind for quite a while, and I just haven't uh, haven't shown you guys for whatever reason. And of course, an easy way to take down your trapdoor is to take down the block that it's sitting on. If it happens to be a block that's easier to take down. Uh, that's pretty much it for the additions to... Uh, 1.6 that I can show you. Maps came out in 1.6 that you can craft using paper and a compass. But I just started this world as you guys saw, so I don't have any redstone or iron to make a compass in order to make the maps, so I can't really show that to you guys yet. But uh, that's the other addition to 1.6 that's noteworthy. Um, pretty much everything that mattered in 1.6 uh, dealt with bug fixes, exploit fixes. Um, there was something like close to a hundred different bug fixes. Um, 
they came out in the original 1.6 update and then the 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 were fixing other bugs that came about. Um, oh, one thing I should tell you guys, if you don't know already, the glitched boosters for minecarts, the ones where you ran minecarts next to each other to go at maximum speed and stuff, those don't work anymore. Uh, but instead, the new powered minecart tracks that uh, you can sit down using gold and whatever else, redstone, um, those have been boosted in speed. I don't know how much faster they go than they went in 1.5, but all of these little fern things are the exact same as the tall grass in terms of the chance of giving you seeds and stuff, in case you're wondering. It's just a different biome thing that does that. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, the powered minecart tracks now uh, go faster because the glitched boosters uh, setting minecarts next to each other to make them go uh, doesn't work anymore. Notch fix that. That also means though that you can uh, have minecarts on two track two parallel tracks going opposite each other. Um, which is really handy on multiplayer servers because it's supposed to be now where they um, they won't collide with each other and get all screwed up. Now they can go past each other just fine. Like if one was going on this here, say there's a track here and a minecart going this way, and there's one going this way, they're not supposed to mess with mess with each other anymore. Which would be handy on multiplayer tracks. Doesn't really matter so much on single player tracks, but. Uh, what else? Oh, the other major uh, change in 1.6 is that boat elevators don't work anymore. Well, they do, but the boats go slower, I guess. Um, it used to be where you could take a boat, go up a waterfall, and just zoom right up. And like, you know, two or three seconds flat, be right at the top of the uh, waterfall with the inside a boat. And now they, you can still get up a waterfall on a boat, but uh, they go slower now. Notch fixed that so they don't go up crazy fast. Um, the technical reasons behind it were basically that uh, servers couldn't keep up with it. It would cause lag, and a lot of the times it would cause the servers to crash. Uh, same thing went with the glitched minecart boosters. A lot of servers forbid those from even being made and used because uh, it would cause servers to crash. I think that's the biggest reason Notch fixed them. Um, there isn't really a replacement for a boat elevator thing yet that does it the same way it used to. Uh, so basically you're going with ladders <laughs> to do that um, with the same amount of... What is that over there? That's weird. Why is there light over there? I wonder if it's just the game hasn't figured it out yet. Oh, it's lava over there. I wonder. That's kind of cool. Look at that. So anyways, um, yeah, boat elevators don't work. Water elevators. Uh, the, other wa the other type of water elevator that used some sort of bug uh, with a corner of the walls or whatever, that doesn't work either. They fix, notch fix that. Um, that's really a kind of cool <laughs> look right there. That's really pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, Notch fixed that too. So that southwest corner bug or whatever isn't working anymore either. Um, the, uh, I never knew this, but apparently it used to be that ores, when the world generated, ores were more, more uh, placed in the southwest corner of the map. Um, I never knew this, but I guess there was some calculating error, error in the world generators that would do that, would cause the ores to be more uh, prominent in the southwest corners of the map, and notch fix that so they're more evenly spread out no matter where on the map you're going, um, and that's a good deal. I never knew that, I guess. Never noticed it or anything, but apparently that was part of the bug fix. Those are the major bug fixes. Like I said, there was over, a, there was close to anyway, a hundred of them. <laughs> so I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, on his blog, on the Word of Notch blog, uh, he put up a list of what all was fixed, and you can check that out if you want. 
Um, but that's about it. Basically, I just wanted to show you guys those two nifty ways using the door and the new trapdoor of how to survive a night in Minecraft without having to uh, build a shelter in case you uh, either start off Minecraft and you're maybe spending the entire first day looking for coal for torches or whatever, you know, or you, uh, you've been caving and you come out and it's nighttime and you don't want to make a shelter, maybe because you already have a base that's just far off and you don't want to uh, be running around in the night, so uh, just run into a lake with a door, plop one down, and uh, wait, wait it out. Um, of course, you could also make yourself a bed uh, and just sleep out the night. Dig yourself a hole in the uh, in a wall here somewhere in the ground, and uh, make yourself a little cubby hole and sleep the night out. But you know, you might find yourself in a desert biome somewhere where there aren't any sheep, and you might not have any wool to do that. So. Or maybe you just don't like making beds or using beds or you've had bad luck with beds waking up with monsters spawning in the middle of the night, that sort of thing. I don't know. Um, but that's just another alternative method of spending the night is with those doors and the uh, air bubbles. Another reason to uh, use these air bubbles right here is if you're making an, an underground uh, base of some kind, or I mean an underwater base or structure or maybe a bridge or whatever and uh, you need access to an air pocket to uh, regain your your air while you're building and uh, it's you need one closer than like way up here at the surface um, and that'd be another good reason to uh, have an air bubble right here but uh, anyways that's pretty much it one other nifty thing is that uh, multiplayer now has the nether. The nether's in in regular vanilla multiplayer, which is pretty cool. I haven't been there yet or anything, so uh, I haven't gone to see it, but I bet it's pretty buggy or whatever because it's the first time it's uh, actually been in multiplayer, in vanilla Minecraft multiplayer, but that's pretty neat. Uh, maps are the biggest feature of 1.6 maps and trapdoors, but like I said, I can't make you guys a map. Personally, I'm more interested in the trapdoors um, just because of all the uses they have. Like, uh, here, well, here, I'll show you. I'll, I'll cut down another tree and we'll, uh, I'll show you another good use for trapdoors that don't actually involve them being so much doors as decoration. Um, I guess I should tell you guys, in the desert biomes, there's dead shrubs now. Uh, you, you can't actually do anything with them. You can't pick them up or anything. You can just destroy them if you want. But you don't get anything back from doing it. You don't even get seeds or anything. They're just really decoration to make something more, uh, I don't know, more visually interesting in the desert biomes. We might go check those out when it comes day again. Um... Let's see. All right, so let's make a couple more. All right. was pretty stupid. Oh, come on. There we go. I 
All right, basic outline of your house. Let's say that you have a window here. It's a four blocks of glass. Let's just say there's glass in here because I'm not going to bother making actual glass because this is just demonstration. But uh, you can put a, uh, if it'll let me, put a trap door there, a trap door there, put that up there, put that up there. You now have shutters for your windows. Isn't that cool? They don't actually shut because trap doors only flop down or up. They don't go from like side to side. But you now have shutters for your windows. I can't wait to actually build a actual building and use that. <laughs> and uh, depending on the material you have for your walls of your house, these will be more distinctive. They kind of blend in a bit with w the wood planks, but you made it out of sandstone or stone or whatever it would be more distinctive having these on here but that's another thing you can use the uh, trap doors for is decoration I think that's pretty cool um, what else let's go ahead and Ah, oh, crap. I went and used... <laughs> I am retarded. Never mind. Here, it doesn't matter. Let's take these out. This definitely seems to be a lot easier just to take down the block that the uh, trap doors are sitting on than the trap doors themselves. But anyways, um, I'm going to make myself an axe just to take the wood down a little easier. Maybe. Probably. A wood axe probably doesn't make any difference at all, but yeah, it really doesn't. Whatever. Keep in mind that there's a bug right now until, I don't know, 1.6.5 would come out. Uh, there's a bug right now that if you drop your your tool or weapon, um, well, besides a bow, but if you drop anything that has a damage factor to it, like a tool like this axe, uh, there you go, like that, and then you pick it back up, uh, and you use it again, um, there's a bug, supposedly, that uh, the tool will disappear after the next use. Like that. See, my axe is gone now. And that'll do that for any tool, whether it's wood, diamond, stone, iron, whatever. So, if you have 1.6.4, um, don't use your more valuable tools unless you don't mind possibly losing them <laughs> because this happens even like if you die like if you've been using and let's say you've been using your axe to cut trees down and creeper comes up behind you kills you and you come back and get your stuff well any of your tools that uh, have any damage to them on their dur durability have any durability loss already you use them again one time and they're gone. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why this bug is there, but it hasn't been fixed yet. So you guys want to stay aware of that. And uh, for me right now, I'm on a new testing world here, so I don't really care if I lose the tools. I mean, it's just wood tools I have, so whatever. Uh, but you guys might want to know that. You probably shouldn't use your diamond tools for now, unless you're like mining obsidian, I guess, and you need a diamond pick. Um, Limit your tool use probably to stone tools, I would suggest, unless you're going after stuff that needs iron tools like the redstone and gold and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind until 1.6.5 or 0.4 underscore 1 or whatever it is that Notch comes up with uh, comes out and fixes that. 
Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for what I can show you right now as far as the updates go and for my little, uh, for my little off ideas that I've had. Um, let's see if we can find a desert biome or large enough sand area that uh, the dead shrubs will show up. And I can show those to you. So yeah, anyways, I thought that was pretty nifty, those two uh, helpful ideas with the uh, door and trap door. There's another thing we could do with, uh, ooh, whoa. apparently this is a dungeon with the cobblestone and the water flowing in there. I imagine this was supposed to be a dungeon. <laughs> this is pretty neat. I always like these sand filled dungeons because it makes it easy. Now this is a dungeon you want to end up having, is right here, man. Oh, it was a spider dungeon too. Ooh. I'm glad it was covered with sand. Now I don't use mob traps. I've never really seen the point. Um, but another one of the bug fixes was water interaction with glass. There was some way that uh, apparently people could make mob traps with uh, water movement, some sort of drowning thing, dealing with glass and how water interacted with glass, but that's been fixed now. It was just a weird glitchy way that the water was interacting with the glass. I don't know the details on it. I'm not a mob trap maker, but uh, I know some of you out there probably are. So you might want to be aware of that as well, that some of your mob traps may not work now, uh, especially the drowning traps. But with the new trap door that's come about, I'm sure you guys will find plenty of different ways to make new mob traps. Uh, the, trap door, the trap doors, just like uh, regular doors, can be affected by redstone. So you could wire them up and uh, push a button to make them open or close or use a lever or pressure plate or whatever so you can come up with some pretty ingenious ways of uh, trapping mobs. I've already seen a bunch on the official Minecraft forums how to do it. I'm not a... I, I don't personally care one way or the other to trap mobs but I know some of you people are interested in that so even though some of your mob traps have been taken away with the bug fixes I mean you've gotten plenty more ways to <laughs> trap mobs now so One of the other uses that I want to use the uh, trap doors for is for something sort of like a drawbridge. Um, and this is also a have common use for the trap doors out there. And I've seen this on quite a few videos here on YouTube even. Um, but you set a trap door down and... Uh, or you set a series of trap doors down, one right after the other, and you connect it with redstone and then you push a button to uh, open or shut them all. So mobs can't follow behind you, like you can have a moat and then a bridge with the floor being the trap doors that you can walk across and then you uh, flip them up and mobs will uh, not be able to follow you which I think is pretty cool and you could have either water under the bridge or the moat or whatever or lava or cactus or just a big ditch just a big drop for them to die in you know if you wanted uh, so I think that's pretty neat I've wanted that I wanted something like that for a long time so I think that's pretty cool random dungeon that I didn't expect for the win. Alright, let's get out of here. I get the cobble the mossy cobblestone, but I don't have any tools to do it, so let's screw that. Uh, anyways, onwards to a desert biome. Wow, random tree on fire for the win. That's weird wonder if there there must be lava around or something otherwise that's kind of random yep there's lava right there 
I guess <laughs> tree on fire is kind of a notice. Oh, another thing that the bug fix has made, fire is nerfed a bit now. So, uh, like if you're trying to make a fireplace in your home and uh, you accidentally set your house on fire, you can uh, now have a fairly decent chance of putting it out because fire now moves slowly when it burns from block to block. And it also doesn't burn, like, infinitely. Um, I don't know what the duration is, to be exact, but, uh, like, house fires shouldn't be a total loss now. And it'll also help uh, with fires in multiplayer from getting out too out of control. You should be able to uh, catch them in time to uh, put them out, which is also nice. Now that doesn't mean you can just go crazy making fireplaces and not be concerned at all about setting the place on fire because you can still set stuff on fire. It just gives you an, a little extra chance, a slight extra chance to uh, put stuff out. Whoa, there's a lot of cows there for some reason. Um... This is turning out to be a much longer video than I anticipated, but that's alright. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you have been hankering for some more Minecraft footage, and uh, I haven't had Minecraft out in quite a while, so it's ought to be good for you. I don't know if I'll make this one video or split it up into a couple, but it depends on how long it's going to be. I really just want to find the uh, the dead shrubs to show you guys from the desert biome that's really the only other content addition that I can think of to show you guys other than maps which again I don't have because I don't have the compass or redstone to make a compass but uh, how you make a map is you basically put uh, paper around a compass in the crafting bench you put the compass in the middle and you surround it with pieces of paper and you've got yourself a map and uh, wherever you make the map at or I guess wherever you pick up the map and look at it for the first time is where the center of the map will be. So it's not necessarily necessarily centered at spawn unless you craft the map and look at it right there at your spawn point. Um, maps go for quite a ways but they do have their own boundaries. Each map has a boundary that you'll eventually run into if you explore far enough. And um, if you go outside the boundary of that particular map, you're just off the map. You're not on the. You're not marked. You, there's a marker on the map where your location is, your current location, and you can walk right off it and uh, no longer be on the map. So it'll. If you have a really large area, it'll take multiple maps to uh, map it all out for you. But it can be kind of handy. I don't know if it's going to be really all that handy to me personally. I'm more interested in the trap doors, but. Uh, it's there for those of you who are interested in having maps. Uh, the only way the maps update is if you're holding them. Like we're holding this sand block right here right now. If this sand block were the map, this is the only way the maps update. If you um, switch to something else, like say this wood block here, your map's not updating anymore until you switch back to actually holding your map. Uh, I don't know why it's that way, but that's how it is. And uh, to get a full view of your map, you look down while you're holding it, and the whole map will show up in the front of the screen. And if you look up like this, it'll... Uh oh, no, it crashed. Be right back. All right, I'm back. My game crashed, whatever. I'm going to delete this world right here. Delete. Testing world, create new world. Uh, good old gamer. Now, why am I using this seed? Is because it tends to spawn me in a desert, so we can just show you guys the stupid dead shrubs already, and uh, I can finish this video and get it uploaded for you guys. So, hopefully, this spawns us in a desert area, and we can just see the shrubs, and uh, that'll be it. Come on. There we go. Dead shrubs right here. This is a dead shrub. It's just basically for looks in the desert. 
uh, it's just scenery and you can't do anything with it. You can destroy it, but it doesn't leave an item right now. Hopefully Notch fixes that and you can eventually be able to pick these up, like flowers or mushrooms or whatever, and uh, at least use them for decoration around your house or whatever you want to do with them. But right now they don't do anything. They don't drop seeds, they don't do anything, they're just decoration. Probably the closest thing you can ever get to a tumbleweed in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, so anyways, uh, mushrooms now grow, I guess. They slowly uh, grow in certain areas, in darker areas, whatever conditions it takes for mushrooms to uh, stay on the ground. They grow now, slowly. So you can make yourself a mushroom farm if you really want to. I don't really have any interest in it, but uh, if you want to live off mushroom stew and stuff, you can finally do that fairly well now, I guess. Um, but that about covers, I think, most of the uh, updates for 1.6 that matter. Um, a lot of the, up the bug fixes were involving multiplayer stuff, like uh, other players finally can see your block-breaking animations now. Um, and they can hear you when you open and shut doors. They can hear the doors open and close. Um, so it's really a lot more difficult for griefers to sneak up on people and kill people and all that stuff without seeing them and hearing them. Um, and there's another fix for multiplayer that you can hear other people's records now when they turn on a record in a jukebox and the song plays. Other people in multiplayer can finally hear it. There's some iron right there. Ooh. Um, that's about it. I mean, there are a ton of bug fixes. I'm There's no way I can go through all of them. But uh, just check Notch's blog and You'll see all the list of all of them. There's some coal. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm just aimlessly wandering now as I talk. So I think I'm going to end this video or set of videos for you guys to uh, go ahead and watch. And uh, those of you who have the update and have messed around with it, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the additions, the bug fixes, all of that good stuff. But that's about it. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I'm the good old gamer. We've been grooving with some more Minecraft. Um, before I go, one last update. I think I'm going to start up a new Minecraft Let's Play series. Um, I think I'm going to... Uh, begin a new series where I play something like a nomad. Although I'm probably not going to play a true nomad because my idea is to uh, start a settlement and uh, make some buildings and uh, do some caving and exploring and stuff. But uh, when I get to a point that I feel the area has been settled enough, maybe when I finally get some diamond gold, redstone, or whatever, and I feel I've gone to the point that I can do, per that I've done pretty much everything I want to do or could do in a certain area, I'll just pick up and move to a brand new area, start fresh on the same map. Uh, now that bids reset the spawn point, it's a lot easier to do that, and now that we have the maps from 1.6, it'll be even easier to uh, map out the area, like the starting spawn point base, and then the next base, and so on and so forth. So I think that might be interesting. And I might do a different uh, series of building designs in each uh, lo different location, keep things fresh and new. Um, and it'll be interesting for you guys, too, when eventually you guys download the map and uh, search around for yourself, see all my different bases, maybe add your own, that sort of thing. Uh, I know in my last... Let's Play series, <laughs> the 200 videos worth, I pretty much stayed in the one same spot. Um, I, I, I want to uh, explore a map more now, especially now that we can 
with all of these new additions, the beds and the maps and stuff. It'll be a lot more interesting to do that, I think. I'm not going to start up the new Let's Play series, like, immediately, because I want to uh, wait for Notch to fix the bug involving the tools now breaking if they end up dropping. You know, then you have one use left and they're broke. I just assume Notch fix that before I start a Let's Play series on it, but I might do some more of these testing videos in the meantime, depending on how slow Notch is to get that bug fixed, but yeah, just something to think about. I'm, I, I want to get back to making some more Minecraft videos for you guys, because I've been getting some responses from you guys wanting more Minecraft, and I haven't played Minecraft in a while on any sort of semi-regular basis, so I think it'd be interesting to get back into it. I'm really looking forward to the idea of settling down, making a base, and then moving on to a new area in the same map without starting a new world, if I can possibly do that. Um, I think it'd be interesting for you guys to give you guys something more to do when you download the map and check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I have no idea why I'm why I'm gathering this sand when I'm gonna delete this world anyway. But um, yeah, anyways, I think I'm gonna call it good for now. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I probably said this already, but uh, I'll call this good. I'm the good old gamer, and this has been more grooving with Minecraft, with me rambling and showing you a few new things. Bye for now. Save and quit.